Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we will discuss about Jackson Cross Slanter. Uh, let us start with its definition. Jackson Cross Slanter is basically a sapphire cylindrical lens. It means that this lens has both spherical lens as well as cylindrical lens incorporated into it. This is the first point in definition. The second point is that the power of cylinder is double than that of sphere. It means that if spherical lens is of 0 0.50, then the cylindrical lens will be one day after. Third important point in the definition of cross cylinder is uh, that cylinder and sphere are of opposite sign. If sphere is plus 0 0.50 then cylinder will be minus 1. So these three points uh, complete the definition of Jackson cross cylinder. It is a sapphire cylindrical lens in which the power of cylindrical lens is double than spherical lens and is of opposite sign. So this was its definition. Uh, number two point that we will discuss will be the uses of cross cylinder. For its uses, the number one is it is used to check the presence of stigmatism. And if stigmatism is present, then it is used to find the axis of cell required and then of course power of cell. And it is also used to give press biopic correction. So these are some of the uses of Jackson cross lander. Uh, next we will move towards the construction of cross cylinder, how cross cylinder is made. To make a cross cylinder, you simply need two cylindrical lenses. Number one. Number two, they should be of opposite power number 3 they should have equal power number 4 they should be held perpendicular to each other If you follow these four steps, you can easily make Jackson cross slender. Let's discuss this with the help of a diagram. The number one point is you need two cylindrical lenses. So I have taken a minus cylinder. Let's suppose these lines indicates axis of minus cylinder. And number two is you need opposite power cylinders. Then the other cylinder must be plus cylinder. These black lines represent plus cylinder. They must be of equal power. It means that if uh, minus lens is of 0 0.50, then this lens of plus will also be plus, uh, plus 0 0.50. And then, of course, I have drawn them perpendicular to each other. And then, cross center has a an handle by which you can carry it. And that handle is situated 45 degree to the axis of the individual cylinders. This distance 
सॉरी दिस एंगल इज 90 डिग्री इट मीन्स दैट हैंडल इज सिचुएटेड हेयर 45 डिग्री हेयर एंड 45 डिग्री हेयर सो द हैंडल ऑफ क्रॉस हैंडल इज 45 डिग्री टू एक्सिस ऑफ इंडिविजुअल सिलेंडर्स so to make a cross cylinder you took two lenses two cylindrical lenses of power let's suppose minus 0.50 and plus 0.50 and uh, then you merge them together and you made a cross cylinder now the common question that students frequently ask that uh, in definition we have said that it is a sphero cylindrical lens but in construction we are saying that we need only two cylindrical lenses so how spherical power can be incorporated by using two cylindrical lenses so i want to clear this concept here we know that cylindrical lens 90 degree to its axis act as spherical lens but we have said cylindrical lens 90 degree to its axis act as spherical lens so to use this concept here in jackson cross cylinder uh in this example i have minus cylinder with its axis 90 degree okay so it means that at 180 degree 90 degree to its axis it will act as a spherical lens it will give me power here Minus zero point five zero, and this power will be spherical. Similarly, here plus cylinder, which is situated at one eighty axis, will give me spherical power ninety degree to this, and ninety degree to one eighty is ninety. So here I will get plus zero point five zero spherical power. So I have an optical cross here. This optical cross represents cross cylinder so if i calculate the net power from this optical cross by considering it as a spherical lens i will get 0.50 sphere with cylinder now the difference between plus 0.50 and minus 0.50 is 1 so the cylinder will be 1 and of course i am moving from positive side to the negative side so so the sign of cylinder will be minus and axis will be 90 degree so here you can see i have used only two cylinders but their net power is plus 0.50 spherical with minus 1 cylinder so both spherical and cylindrical power can be gained by using two cylindrical lenses and here you can see uh, what we have studied in the definition that the sign of the spherical and cylindrical will be opposite and the power of cylinder will be two times that of सफेद